Hi, Jeff Curry here from Charles Sturt University. Over the last few years, I've heard a number of presentations from influential speakers about PET CT. And one of my favourite explanations of the impact of PET CT is provided by the inventor of PET CT, Professor David Townsend. I've heard this and, and seen these slides numerous times in different forums uh, and by different speakers, including Professor Dale Bailey. But I don't actually recall hearing it from Professor Townsend himself. Uh, it is really a simple but very insightful way to think about the impact of PET CT um, using art. Um, and it occurred to me uh, when I heard this presentation recently that it might be able to be adapted in some way to also show the added value of emerging technologies associated with artificial intelligence and in particular deep learning. So I thank uh, Professor Townsend and Professor um, Dale Bailey for the inspiration uh, and apologise if my efforts to weave in artificial intelligence uh, butcher the original message. Let me say up front that I'm not an art buff. But this is a painting by um, Pierre um, Bruegel from uh, 1560 and it's called Children's Games. And it depicts a bunch of kids scattered across a township on the edge of a, a rural landscape um, playing a variety of games that were popular in the era. Fairly complex uh, scene uh, with lots of characters. Uh, but if we consider this as the object of interest when we do our imaging. So if we think that within the image, um, there's something that's not quite right, something that's out of place. The analogy would be it's like a cancer in the human body. Uh, if we look at the image anatomically using, say, CT, for example, we get high resolution grayscale image like the one on the screen. But in the absence of something being, um, you know, in the wrong place or being disproportionately large, um, nothing jumps out as being out of place. So think about it, find what doesn't fit in. Looking at the same scene with nuclear medicine, and it's often joked that nuclear medicine is actually unclear medicine, we get the same image, but with slightly less resolution. But nuclear medicine, uh, including PET, comes with the advantage of not just being blurred anatomy, but it has functional insights provided by the administration of a radiopharmaceutical that highlights various um, tissue functions and importantly, variations in those tissue functions. Ideally, we might see something like this, where the PET image uh, um, only shows the dysfunction, but leaves us with no insight into the spatial position of the character that's out of place. But we can hold our two images up side by side as we did with CT and PET um, just decades ago and find the location of this particular anomaly. And in this case, in the complex scene of children, we see an old person walking away. But PET does not eliminate um, all other features um, in the image. And this is probably a better representation of the PET scan. So we still see our old person walking away, with highlighted in orange there, um, in a complex blurred scene. The value of PET CT in hybrid systems then is able to provide co-registered high resolution anatomical images superimposed on the physiologically sensitive detail from the PET image as depicted here on the right, clearly identifying the character in the scene that's out of place. Um, this is where the analogy ends. A really neat demonstration of the value of hybridized PET CT by the inventor of PET CT. Um, and at this point, I want to consider how artificial intelligence changes this landscape. To do that, we have to reconsider the PET images versus CT, because this is not, in fact, how we might consider PET. The radiopharmaceutical is generally taken up in multiple other tissues, which confounds detection. So we highlight the old man or old woman, but also a number of children. And the radiopharmaceutical can have high background accumulation or accumulation in entire organs that um, further complicate detection. 
adding PET CT over PET alone provides an enormous advantage, and the high resolution of anatomy associated with CT might help to differentiate the various tissues with high uptake as either pathology or a normal variant, or in this case, an old person versus a child playing. But recent advances have seen the emergence of peptides that specifically target cell surface receptors or antigens that are overexpressed in specific diseases, including cancers. The net effect is more targeted radiopharmaceuticals for more precise imaging. Indeed, that level of precision then allows targeted therapy, and we have a growing array of theranostic pairs in PET CT. So, more targeted therapy gives better outcomes without as much collateral damage. In this case, the old person is removed from the scene by targeted therapy without any destruction to buildings or emission of children. So, what of artificial intelligence and deep learning? How does it look at the same scene? Well, artificial intelligence will look at the scene differently to identify texture and gradient, shapes, depth, and the relationship to other features of the image to find inconsistencies among the uniformity. In fact, deep learning views the scene through many different lenses, or kernels as we call them, hundreds in fact. So what does deep learning tell us we don't already know from imaging? Um, can it add to what we already know? Artificial intelligence not only tells us that there are over 230 children in the scene, but identifies 83 different games they're playing and makes connections between individuals in the painting. Artificial intelligence tells us that it's not an old person walking with a walking stick, but rather a child walking on short stilts and also connects them to the other child walking on tall stilts. In fact, the angles of the two sets of stilts are identical. We can in fact exactly superimpose the two figures on one another and see that they were the same model for the artist with the coat and hood for the short stilts figure used to cover the features and make it look posterior rather than anterior. But you can also see how those same variations to the, the model by the artist make it look like a hunched old person. It makes you wonder how many other characters um, were recycled within the scene and hidden by clothing. But AI, or artificial intelligence, tells us that there's no disease and prevents unnecessary therapy. So the role of artificial intelligence is to reveal what is not obvious, to see what we would not otherwise see, and indeed to drive precision medicine. So I hope that kind of uses the original uh, presentation from Professor Townsend that shows the enormous value of PET CT and then adds a layer of understanding that we could get from the emerging technologies associated with, associated with deep learning and uh, artificial intelligence.